All right, Sagar, what are you looking at? Well, perhaps one of the most frustrating things about DC is watching people just lie, and not just lie, but lie that everybody knows is a lie, the person who's telling it knows it's a lie, the audience knows it's a lie. Ostensibly, there are consequences for lying, at least in your official capacity, but as long as the right party controls the levers of power in Congress, most people just get away with it. They lie straight to your face, and there's nothing really that you can do about it. And if you haven't picked up on my drift, who I'm talking about, it's Dr. Anthony. Anthony Fauci. Hmm. Recent exchange with Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, in which he denied that the National Institute of Health ever funded gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. This fact, of course, is being relevant because there is a high degree of probability that the gain-of-function research being conducted at the Wuhan lab is responsible for the outbreak of coronavirus. Now, let's review. review. Fauci and Paul's exchange on July 20th, 2021, to see exactly the lie that he told before that body. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress, do you wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan? Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So what was, let you me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its transmissibility to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. Let's okay, you get NIH. one person. Let's read from the NIH definition of gain of function. This is your definition that you guys wrote. It says that scientific research that increases the transmissibility among animals is gain of function. They took animal viruses that only occur in animals and they increased their transmissibility to humans. How you can say that is not gain of function. It is not. It's a dance and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for four million people dying around the world okay. from a pandemic. There you have it. Rand Paul gave Fauci every opportunity to retract his lie that the National Institute of Health and the NIAID ever funded gain-of-function research at the Wuhan lab. Fauci, as you see, plays word games. He tries to distract. He says, yeah, yeah, we funded research at the Wuhan lab that enhanced back coronaviruses, but you see, technically, we just don't call it gain-of-function. At the time, it was transparent and it was a word game. It was a lie to mislead the American public. But now we have something even better. It's smoking gun proof that Fauci did in fact lie to Congress, and it is in not some quack who is saying this. This time, it is cold hard documents from the EcoHealth Alliance themselves, that group which served as the conduit, as the funding for gain of function research to the Wuhan lab from our own government. The documents were released by the Freedom of Information Act request to The Intercept. They show details of the exact grants provided by the National Institute of Health under the direction of Fauci and Francis Collins for gain-of-function research. Critically, this is the particular part from Dr. Richard Ebright of a professor of chemistry and biology at Rutgers who reviewed these documents. Quote, the materials show that the 2014-2019 NIH grants to EcoHealth with subcontracts to the Wuhan Institute of Virology funded gain-of-function research as defined in federal policy in effect from 2014 to 2017 and potential pat pandemic pathogen enhancement as defined in federal policy in effect from 2017 to present. In other words, the documents prove that Fauci's own guidelines, which he wrote himself, that he was lying to Congress. The National Institute of Health funded gain-of-function research at the Wuhan lab, while we knew the broad con contours of that. At an official level, that is no longer in dispute, which means that there's this is a lie that Fauci told. And yet, whenever this information comes to light on Tuesday, did it even break national news? Of course not. CNN even had Fauci on their network after the release of the documents. They didn't ask him about it. White House won't address it either. 
To date, not a single major outlet, say Fox News, has even covered the documents, and no Democratic legislature has said a word. Whenever it got picked up and it was trending on Twitter, Twitter actually covered up the reason it was trending, saying that he was trending because he was talking about hospital ICU beds, hmm. when it was really about how he got caught straight up lying to Congress. <laughs> But Fauci's lies are not even the only things revealed in this document dump. Even more disturbing are the description by EcoHealth Alliance of the conditions within the lab, just how dangerous this type of research is to conduct. Their own grant proposal says, quote, Field work involves the highest risk of exposure to SARS or coves while working in caves with high bat density overhead and potential for fecal dust to be inhaled. More so, Alina Chan, a molecular biologist who reviewed the documents, told The Intercept, quote, in this proposal, they point out that they know how risky this work is. Hmm. They keep talking about how people potentially getting bitten and they keep records of everyone who has gotten bitten. So here's the question. Where do those records exist today? Does EcoHealth Alliance maintain a database of all of those who were bitten by bats and monkeys inside the Wuhan Institute of Virology? I'd love an answer to that question. And if we had a real government that wasn't obsessed with January 6th and we had a Wuhan commission, instead, those are the types of things they might be able to get their hands on. But that's not the problem, is it? It's a lie. Is it a lie if nobody acknowledges the lie and nobody investigates the lie and nobody has any consequences for telling the lie? That's the more philosophical question that I am prepared to answer. But the more information that comes out regarding this situation, the more clear it is that the very people in charge of running the pandemic may have caused this thing in the first place. That's kind of the amazing part here, Crystal, not only in terms of yes. the document on Fauci, but also they're like, this is hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.